Welcome to the April 2018 Movie News Roundup, where we cover all the major Star Wars movie, canon, and gaming stories of the past month. Just last Thursday, Lucasfilm officially announced the next animated series from Dave Filoni will be called Star Wars Resistance. It will be anime-inspired and follow a young pilot tasked with spying on the growing First Order that will feature new and familiar characters. The show will premiere this fall. In solo news, we got a new trailer, a few new TV spots, and a behind-the-scenes featurette. I enjoyed all the new footage, but the featurette is especially good if you haven't seen it yet. It was also announced that Solo will have its world premiere at the Cannes Film Festival on May 15th. The official website for the festival lists the runtime of the movie to be 2 hours and 15 minutes long, which is right in the middle for a Star Wars movie. Ron Howard revealed on Instagram that the movie has wrapped post-production. He also finally confirmed that his brother, Clint Howard, who often appears in Ron's projects, will be in Solo. We haven't heard any word on ticket sales yet, but there have been rumors that they'll be available on May 4th. I usually don't talk about rumors, but this seems reasonable, so just in case, be on the lookout Friday. The last bit of Solo news I want to address is the rumor that Lucasfilm is planning two Solo sequels because Alden said that he signed on for three movies. Don't read into that too much because it's become standard procedure in the movie business these days. Felicity Jones had multiple movies in her contract as well, and seeing Jen Erso again is highly unlikely. Moving on to Episode 9 news, Victoria Mahoney was announced as the film's second unit director, making her the first non-male and first non-white person to direct stories in Star Wars, so congratulations to her. That's it for my segment, so now I'm going to throw things over to Elliot for gaming news. Thank you, Alex. Starting off with Battlefront 2, a Night on Endor update was released in April, which included a limited time event, Ewokant, which has grown to be very popular in the community, where you get to play as Ewoks against Stormtroopers or the other way around in a very dark environment on Endor, which requires you to use flashlights. And well, if you weren't scared of Ewoks, you probably will after you play that game mode. The same update also brought in skins to the game, both for heroes and troopers, which you can buy for the in-game credits or for crystals that you can buy for real money. The update also came with the first community transmission, the next step in giving the community more regular communication. And in that community transmission they hinted towards the fact that the next season will probably be Han Solo themed and it will be revealed early May so it should be revealed only a few days from now and it was also a slight hint towards the fact that season 3 will most likely be Clone Wars. Moving on to Galaxy of Heroes we got a new road ahead post for this quarter which revealed that uh, the new hero Bosk is coming to the game. Hopefully he will be just as fun as he is in Battlefront 2 and along with Bosk they will also be reworking the bounty hunters currently in the game. With Star Wars Force Arena we've got a middle of month patch which balanced quite a lot of characters in the game and they also revealed that on May 4th they will be doing some special events including bringing back the limited edition 40th anniversary leaders Luke and Vader who will only be available during that particular event. And in Star Wars The Old Republic news, the developers confirmed that a new expansion will arrive with patch 6.0 and that it will focus on the Republic vs Imperial storyline. But there are no dates announced as of yet. And lastly, a bunch of classic Xbox games recently became available on the Xbox One which includes the original Battlefront 1 and 2, Jedi Knight Academy 2, Jedi Starfighter and Republic Commando. So if you do have the old CDs you can actually put those in your Xbox One and play the games otherwise you can buy them for $10 in the store which I think is a bargain if you want to experience some nostalgia. Thanks Elliot! If you want to keep more up to date with Star Wars gaming news every day, subscribe to Battlefront Updates who provides daily videos about all Star Wars games not just Battlefront. But that's it for April. The Star Wars News Roundup will return June 1st to cover everything that goes on in the month of May. Until then, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.